A revolution is fast approaching. Many are already aware of its power, and more and more are exposed every day. Just like computers were once only used in corporations and garages until advances in cost brought them to mainstream, 3D printers are changing the game. Now available to typical households, they allow people to make custom parts and pieces, art and jewelry, virtually any object that can be created. 3D printing is a process that builds an object layer by layer from a computer file. In recent years, personal 3D printers have become popular with makers or do-it-yourself hobbyists. Now the printers are so affordable, it has been forecasted by market watchers that soon every average household will have one. But before you print, you have to create. And that's where we come in. There's a 3D revolution coming and we're going to help power it. Hi, I'm Anthony Morris. I'm the Human Systems Integrator for 3 DaVinci. Hi, I'm Richard Langsmith, Digital Art Director for 3 DaVinci. My name is David Edwards and I'm the Physical Art Director for 3 DaVinci. Hi, I'm Jamie Moffat and I'm the Principal Software Designer for 3 DaVinci. Hi, I'm Buck Clemens. I'm the President of the Clemens Coding Company and the producer of 3 DaVinci. When you look at the, uh, at the 3D software market out there right now, what you see is uh, a, a lot of professional applications for professionals. And uh, what's missing is something that's easy for your average person to use, and that's what we hope to fulfill. 3 DaVinci is a computer software program that helps an individual manage their creative expression. Uh, think, draw, and print. Uh, Thought is something that needs to be liberated, so you're not looking through the keyhole of a software program all the time. So we're going to try to have thought be an indefinite, describable, creative act, but then through our software, we'll go through a draw process, whether it be two-dimensional or three-dimensional, that again gets represented in the space of drawing. So where all this came from was uh, I sat down, I was with my kids, we went to a fab lab and we, uh, we really enjoyed the 3D printer and we came home and uh, decided that we wanted to try it ourselves. So we downloaded a program, loaded it up on the computer and I opened it up and I couldn't use it. Uh, I'm a, a very IT focused person in my job. I, I couldn't get to step one. Uh, so I thought, you know, there's got to be a better way of doing this. Uh, and I, I assembled a team to do that. It's more than just developers. I do have a, a developer, his name's Jamie. He's been doing this sort of thing for 27 years. He's made 3D uh, computer applications. He's worked in the defense industry. Tony has a PhD in engineering psychology and with a specialty in visual perception. And what I was really hoping to do is understand how humans see and how they perceive so that we can try and reverse engineer this and bridge that gap between 2D and 3D. With Richard, I needed a professional 3D modeler. Uh, as I worked with computer programs and modeling programs, I saw that you had to think several steps ahead. And I needed somebody who could do that and could explain to us what's been done and what works and provide that, that professional expertise. Dave is a bona fide artist and, and an art instructor, and I wanted somebody who understood how the layman thinks and how they try to learn how to, how to produce arts and how they sculpt with their hands. Bringing this team of four guys together really gives us uh, an understanding of what people need in order to make a model in, in three dimensions on a two-dimensional screen. For our business strategy, what we hope to do is, uh, is help all the OEMs uh, all the 3D printer manufacturers, uh, we want to we want to help them all equally uh, and, and not be tied to any single one. What's needed is a computer application that is that's friendly between all of them. I make a pledge that I will never allow uh, 3D Vinci to be sold to uh, a 3D printer company. In a very short time, the team has been able to come up with a user interface, which I think will be cutting edge. From a software perspective, 3D Vinci has a proprietary framework and a set of core libraries which are exposed through an application programming interface, or API. An SDK sits on top of the API and then provides examples, tutorials, and code bytes that will allow you to develop your own plugins or your own applications. 3 DaVinci is actually more than a modeling package. It really has to take into account the end use, which is to make a 3D print. And there's a lot of logic that you have to know currently just to get something out to that. And we're going to guide you through all that in a very intuitive way uh, by asking certain questions up front, providing a very unique interface, and then easing the transition to get that model into something that a 3D printer can use. Right now with 3DaVinci, what we have is uh, some code written. We're manipulating things around on the screen. We have our screen layouts. 
uh, we hope to go into full-time development and release our first version in February. If you want to help bring 3 DaVinci to life, please visit our website and share our story via social media and contribute. Uh, you can visit us at www.thinkdrawprint.net.